Wood fire springs forth. Wood bile does bubble. The black moon swings and the sky stirs trouble. <laughs> By violent ends, we kill the light. Through the shadows, madness beckons. Weird at night. from the shackles of time and space, we present Weird at Isn't her delivery incredible? So much emotion while barely moving her face. Oh, Helen, you beguile me. An angel, an absolute goddess angel. Precisely. I'm so glad you can see this as I do. Who knows? Perhaps if the Academy had given her an Oscar nomination before she made Pay It Forward, that film may never even have been made. Wasn't that the movie where we spent the whole time worried for that little kid, and then for no reason, at the end, someone kills the kid? And it was supposed to be all sentimental and shit, but we, and by we, I mean me, were throwing crack pipes at the TV and telling everyone how desperate for an Oscar they were? Correct Mundo, my fluffy friend! Well, Helen, the goddess was great, as always. But Jesus Christ, that was a lame-ass movie. Yes. She certainly didn't get an opportunity to demonstrate the rain she did as Mad About You's Jamie Buckman. Oh, Jamie, you sly devil. Nothing could quite compare. Yeah, let's watch more of that. Do they ever end up killing each other? What's that, little fluff? I had cornflakes in my ears. Do the two people in the show ever kill each other? I, uh, uh, well, well, why don't we just watch and find out? All right. I definitely really like my entertainment murdery, but people just getting along on having struggles, and pushing through anyway, is starting to grow on me. A lot. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to the completely for once in months unthreatened Wannaverse, everyone. Welcome back, so happy to be here with you tonight. We've had a hell of a lot happening in these parts. If you didn't see the pre-show or the last episode, hang on to your butts because tonight we acclimate to the aftermath of the trial of Raccoonon. If you missed it, Blazin' Space and Dartone, as well as the other members of Raccoonon, were banished. Blazin' was sent to the Chamber of Self-Discovery and I was awoken this morning by a little firefly that told me we'll be seeing something from Blazin's journey. As for Dark Tone and Steve Germany, fuck them! There's no way we won't hear from them eventually, but it's all quiet for now. The Pink Cloud, though its instincts are incredibly disturbing, seems to be doing really well with Booger Bitch Fantasia Man. The Hell and Hunt tributes are flowing, the joy of exchanging energy with someone of like mind is irreplaceable, and it's awesome to see the cloud finally fitting in somewhere. Okay, but this ain't all about me, is it? Wait, isn't it? Wait, no it's not, no, 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 Jesus Patrick. And because we're in a damn good mood tonight, we're gonna kick this shit off the only way we know how, with another incredible animation from the one and only, Madeline Williams.
Hey everybody, we're zipping right along and it feels pretty goddamn good not to be uh, besieged by RACQAnon and their hatred of our lovable furry friends. It's been a hot fucking day, but it's about to get a lot hotter because we got so much sexy That's art shares. That's because there's a heat wave. The reason it's hotter is because there's a heat wave. Oh, hello. What? What yes, the fuck Patrick was that? Galactic, this is the goblin bird and I'm uh, talking to you. I have super hearing. I can hear everything you're saying. Yes, uh, yes, Goblin Bird, I, I know that, I know that. Hi, <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> well, yes, well, it's, well, I can't see you yet, but I'm, I actually may have to fly down because I'm worried about my friend Sam Circle. Last time no, I saw no, Sam, no. I dropped him off with you. That's true, but you don't need to come down here. You, do, you don't need to come down here. Just take my word for it, Sam is doing okay. So you're saying ah. Sam Circle is totally safe and there's no reason I need to fly down there and destroy this problem. 100% safe. You better not be lying to me, Patrick Galactic. I have super <laughs> hearing, and I will be back after I do my own research. Goodbye, we are at night. Attack with love, Goblin Bird. Sam Circle will be just fine. Oh, fuck. Uh, so this is a problem. This is a problem. The Goblin Bird with super fucking hearing. Can it hear me now? Shit. Uh, okay. The Goblin Bird with super fucking hearing just just is listening at all times now, and we gotta figure out what the fuck to tell it about Sam Circle. So, um, everybody, do some thinking about that. We're gonna go to a video now, but uh, we'll be back. And maybe I'll be here if the Goblin Bird doesn't kill me. I be bumping you bumming, I be dumping you dumbing, turning nothing to something, turning something to ugly, turning ugly to beautiful, maybe then you will love me, maybe then you will plug me, turning water to bubbly. Tripped in the accident could leave a scar. Fee for pain like the masochist and beat the farce. Don't keep lying to yourself when you see the stars. Might as well try cause it helps when you need a star. Thread the needle like a pass or a peaceful art. Being equal than uneven in a league of heartless. Beleaguered and I'm parched, but let's get to marching. No smeagol but a monster in a feeble mosh pit. An eagle and a bomber all in one concoction. A Bundy and a Dahmer wouldn't get the process. So I'm smoking on the cryptic chronic. Kinda like throwing off your focus, but you get the concept. It's funny that these niggas think they better than. They say they came with gods, but I got better plans. A moon walking on the ranch, never, never land. A smooth talking out friends like it never fan. I be bumping you bumming, I be dumping you dumbing. Cause it's nothing to something, turning something to ugly. Ugly to beautiful, maybe then you will love me. Maybe then you will plug me. Turning water to bubbly, I be bumping the bumming, I be dumping you dumbing. Turning nothing to something, turning something to ugly. Turning ugly to beautiful, maybe. Maybe then you will plug me, turn the water to bubbly. I can see that I'm an eyesore. Paid the price too expensive for what time affords. Silhouette of self projections on the soundboard. Town cars, continental puget sound for. Found what I was down for and drown more. Clown when I'm straight lounging and down horse. Victory is all I see, but you can doubt yours. Enemies been far between, they'll have to vouch for. In the street was not my scene unless on skateboards. Enemies too far between, we need to fake more. No better yet, my better half won't stand for. Super green when I hit you, that be like run for it. It's for the taking, I'ma come for it. And nobody's gonna take it, I'ma jump for it. And progression ain't the effort, it's a slum lore. Ain't nobody gonna hate it when you humble. Hey, I be bumping you bumming, I be dumping you dumbing. Turning nothing to something, turning something to ugly. Turning ugly to beautiful, maybe then you will love me. Maybe then you will plug me. Turn the water to bubbly. I be bumping you bumming, I be dumping you dumbing. Turning nothing to something, turning something to ugly. Turning ugly to beautiful, maybe then you will love me. Maybe then you will plug me. Turn the water to bubbly. What can I say, as always, the monster is ravenous for reason and uncompromising in his truth. That was a track from the Juneteenth Bites and Beats stream with Noir Grime. Now, this is a reminder. This Friday is Bandcamp Friday. So a bunch of people will be releasing records. This is a great time to support those artists. So make sure you do that. Uh, Terry's releasing an album with Not For Sale called Not For Play 2. It's, uh, it's a collaboration that they've been uh, working on kind of uh, in perpetuity uh, for a long time. So uh, make sure you check that out. Make sure you check that out for sure. But we also had a show Immunity Superstar in our chat earlier who has another album coming out this Friday, and that's Mount Fog. 
You may remember we interviewed Mount Fogg's cat Freya. Well, Mount Fogg's releasing her debut record this Friday as well. Make sure you go hit up their band camps and uh, get yourself on that action because uh, it's going to be good shit. Okay. Well, now that the goblin bird is probably going to assassinate me for lying to it, welcome to Weird at Night. Ha ha! Weird at Night is a twice weekly art voyage through the stars. We love music. We bring surreal comedy. Weird at Night is like a smoky patchwork quilt with Twilight Zone, 90s cable access, Pee Wee's Playhouse, and Reading Rainbow all stitched in. We're astonishingly wholesome for people who say fuck as often as we do here. More importantly than all of that, we're a show Munity. The chat is 100% where it's at. A lot of the stuff we'll be showing tonight was made by people hanging out in the chat. So give thanks to, especially now, to Queen Most High, the benevolent, merciful Queen Most High, because you're chatting amongst the royalty. So don't fear the darkness, darling. It's weird. It's night. You're in the right place. I said that wrong. Respect for each other and the flow of the show is essential. Distractors, spammers, you'll be ejected by the mod of justice, Alex F and V, and if she falls asleep, it'll be me. Uh, so give us a follow, and at some point in the night, I'll put your name in the pretty lights, sing you a little tune, and uh, if you subscribe, which is so dope to do, uh, I will go get my guitar, write you a 20-second auto song right here with your name in it, put your name in the pretty lights. But for now, let the art extravaganza begin. Now, number one, I never touched Sam Circle, and I never said anything bad about him. All I did was blame him knowingly for things he didn't exactly do, resulting in his beheading and reveal as an alien, which, when you think about it, was probably a really important development for Sam and for the galaxy. You're welcome, Waniverse. I need to get some giant protective bird claw gear, I think. But Jesus Christ, the last few days in Washington state have been abominable, abominable. I've never been less comfortable in this state in my entire life. We just had the three hottest days on record. One, two, three in a row. The hottest days on record. The last few days, I could barely turn my computer on before it would start to overheat. So we're going to have some serious YouTube uploading over the next few days. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you can drink it in, man. All right. I uh, want to give you all a reminder real quick that uh, this dope Tina Bell tribute show is happening July 9th. Tickets go on sale July 1st. There isn't a ton of information about it online other than this poster. But listen to this. This is an all-star cast of singers, including Shayna Shepard, Eva Walker of the Black Tones, Deha, Demetra Smith, and my buddy Om Johari. And they have a special backing band, which features Aaron Jones of Aaron Jones, who's also been on the show, Kendall Ray Jones of Fishbone and Kendall Ray Jones, uh, Janelle Rockefort on bass, uh, and the one and only Matt Cameron of Soundgarden and Pearl Jam and one of the original drummers in Bam Bam will be playing on the 9th at the Central Saloon. It's going to be awesome. It doesn't get any bigger than that. The backing band will also feature original members of Bam Bam. So come on. Even though there's not an event page yet and tickets don't go on sale till the 1st, go smash the Central Saloon's website link and stay tuned. That's it's going to be a fucking amazing show. All right. Tonight is already a runaway freight train and rack QAnon doesn't even exist anymore. No excuses, Galactic. Make it happen. Make it happen. Okay, I want everyone here on either Twitch or YouTube to ask me a weird question. It can be anything, anything at all. Anything at all. Just add me in the chat and I'll answer when we get back. Okay, coming up, we have some straight fire headed your way. Not a mucho's in the house. We got a new artist by the name of St. Joshua in the house as well. We'll have another insanely cool video from Pursuit of Wonder and much more. But first, this video came to me by way of Nina Wasson Carey, and I loved it. This video is from a band called Be On It. If that name sounds weird, just watch. I think you're gonna enjoy it a lot. Be On It.
God damn. God damn. Be on it. Uh, I will. I will be on it. I will be on whatever's going on with be on it uh, in the near future because that was fucking awesome. Uh, I loved what Madsy said about it. Smooth but psychedelic. Yeah. It had some kind of like Jeff Beck, almost like uh, blow by blow kind of feels to it. But yeah, there's just kind of this manic psychedelia. The musicianship is incredible. It was just a hell of a lot of fun to watch and listen to. Big love to be on it. I expect to see them back in these parts soon. But uh, we got some questions. Let's get to them. All right. All right. We're here. Okay. We do have some questions, and uh, I will get into that uh, right in just a minute. Um, so, Madsy End Time starts off by saying, what are the pronouns of your guitar? Um, I'm not exactly sure. Um, <clears throat> it's a, a rosewood fretboard and a, a spruce maple top, so I'm not sure what that equates to on the gender scale. But uh, I just call it uh, guitar. Um, Nate Lewis says, why does Rakuanon not exist anymore? <clears throat> Look, Nate. Nate, I just want to tell everybody a little story. Nate called me a little earlier from Noirland, a little upset, all right? His drum kit wasn't where he expected it to be, and now he's stuck in Noirland, and he kind of didn't plan on that. So I get that you're having trouble accepting that Rakuanon was banished to Noirland and destroyed by DeQueen, Nate, but uh, I love you. Still love you. Big love out to Nate in Noirland. Thank you. Um, Madzy... Uh, Ash Maddie asks, where have all the flowers gone? That's a great question, Ash Maddie. That's a great question. Now, if we're talking about flowers, we should probably get into what kind of seasonality. Are you looking for a flower that blooms this season? And that's in life and in flowers, okay? Are you looking for the flower that's actually right for the season you're in, folks? Are you doing it? Are you doing it? Okay. Find your flower. All right. Um... Madzy and Times asked, will I accept three questions? And I said yes, and they said that was their second question. Um, let's see, I don't want to miss anybody. Guilty Art Music, do you think the sweat between toes may hold a secret cure for cancer? Just want to know how I can save the world during the next heat wave. You know, Guilty Art, you may be right. You may be right. Something good has got to come from these toes because they are dripping and they are disgusting. Um... Mad DN Times, what topic do you think is most dangerous to discuss? Um, I think right now, for me, the most dangerous topic to discuss is the Beatles, of all things. Now, people of my age, people of a certain age, were kind of raised in this decades-long afterglow of the Beatles, for instance, right? But the kids coming up these days are kind of sick of it. They're kind of tired of being told that the Beatles are the greatest band ever. But that's what I was told my whole life. And I kind of believe it. So when somebody says they hate the Beatles or the Beatles sucked and, and they stole everything, and it, I mean, that's not not true. But it's also like, I think they were a really, really fucking good band. So it's uh, it's hard. Ash Matty asks, what's the frequency, Kenneth? I would say currently it's about 5,600 hertz, buddy. Um, raised on rhythm, what the fuck did I miss? <laughs> buddy, you're in New Orleans. It's okay. It's okay. And if you're really confused, maybe you should go to YouTube and watch the trial of Rakuanon that took place where you were sentenced to an eternal uh, damnation in New Orleans. And Rakuanon was broken up. Uh, now it's Tuesday, and you know Tuesdays tend to be a little more chill, but you also know we're celebrating a huge win for the Waniverse, and that makes me extra happy. So I declare, on this Tuesday, a dance break! Just 
All right, that was pretty hot. Pretty hot new track from uh, our friends Kura Nico with our uh, very show community superstar friend, Katrina Cope on vocals there. Uh, it's a clip we showed last episode as well. Uh, follow the links, follow your nose, just go wherever the magic goes, okay? And speaking of magic, Converge Media has been making the magic in the field of independent news for some time now. I love their balanced and reasoned discussion, their emerging arts and culture coverage, and I just plain think Omari and Trey Holiday are fucking awesome. But don't take it from me, folks. I did it for the city. I did it for the love. I did it for the people. I did it for us. Back on this rap ish. I ain't even broke a sweat. Homie, this practice. Pondering my next move. Staring at my track list. Hope I ain't miss my window. Praying like a Baptist. Seattle's own. Tired of this game of thrones. They made a list of the best rappers. And guess who wasn't on? While the disrespect continues, I'm steady packing these venues. All right, big, big love, big shout out to Converge Media. Check out their site and consider making a contribution to su to support their continued work. All the love, Converge. I uh, hope to hear more from you soon. We love writing here at Weird at Night, and Tuesdays are definitely the nights we do the most. Tonight, we're visiting our friends from the Pursuit of Wonder YouTube channel, one of my most cherished and loved channels that I hope you all subscribe to. This is an incredible piece of anecdotal fiction that asks the question, you know, just a small question, is anything real? Tim sat on his couch watching TV while his girlfriend got ready and put her makeup on. It was her birthday. Well, technically it was the day before, but that still counted as far as she was concerned. Tim offered to take her out to her favorite restaurant because the next night, on her actual birthday, they were going to have a small party for her at their apartment. And so, this night, he thought it would be nice to celebrate just the two of them. They arrived at the restaurant and were seated by the hostess after waiting for a few minutes in the reception area. They began looking at their menus and talking about this and that. Soon after, the waitress came and took their drink orders. After a few more minutes went by, Tim asked his girlfriend what she was thinking of ordering. Then she asked him. They both said they weren't sure yet and went on looking at their menus, continuing to talk. They talked about who was going to come to the party the next night and what they still needed to do beforehand to prepare for it. Then there was a little break in their conversation while they focused more seriously on making their final meal decisions. Tim decided what to order before her. Turkey tips. He watched his girlfriend as she continued to inspect her menu. She was visibly stressed by the decision. Her brow was tight and her eyes jolted around as she flipped the menu pages back and forth. Tim thought about how funny this was, how she was furiously ruminating over which meal to choose, as if her life depended on it. Such a simple, risk-free choice, he thought, yet it seemed as if it carried the weight of the world on her in that moment. Tim looked around at all the other people in the restaurant. It looked as if about a quarter of them were looking at their menus as well. He wondered how much of everyone's life was spent trying to make decisions like this, how much stress and worry were put on decisions as trivial as what meal to get out of a few similarly good, privileged meals. Then Tim realized that he sort of was just doing the same thing. This suddenly made Tim sort of anxious, as if this thought weirdly reminded him that he was a person, a living thing in the world, and whatever absurdity he was looking at in the restaurant, he was also a part of. As he scanned around the room, he weirdly noticed the droning chatter of all the other restaurant goers, as if his ears pulled the hum of their voices from the background to the foreground of his attention. He thought about how each individual voice made sense on their own, but when heard collectively all at once, they sort of sounded like squawking animal noises, completely indiscernible and bizarre. This made Tim even more anxious. He tried to pull himself out of it. In his head, he told himself to relax over and over, but in this attempt, he found himself thinking about the conversation he was having with himself. He wondered who was telling who to relax. He thought about how he was somewhere inside his head, lodged within the object of his brain, somehow looking out at all these other objects, thinking about them, trying to make sense of it all. He looked down at the chair he was sitting on. He thought about how many people were likely required for it to arrive there under him. He observed the wood frame, the leather skin of the cushion, the pillowy material inside of it poking out of a hole, and all the little screws that held it together. He wondered where it all came from. He thought about how he could trace each item back to something. The wood from a tree, the leather from an animal or fabric, the metal from certain rocks in the ground, the chair design from other people, all of it from the planet, the planet from some swirling cluster of matter and energy. But then he suddenly became deeply overwhelmed by the idea that he didn't know where this string ended or began, that no one really did. He started to feel somewhat claustrophobic and disoriented, somehow disconnected from what was going on around him, yet deeply aware of everything at the same time. The chair almost looked unfamiliar to him as he continued looking at it. He thought about how it sort of just showed up, 
how everything sort of just showed up. That one day, some amount of time ago, he realized he was Tim, and he showed up. Another day he learned what a chair was, and chairs showed up. Another day he realized he was on this planet, and the planet showed up. And this continued on and on with everything he'd ever known and ever would. This then made Tim wonder what the chair would be if he wasn't there to sit in it, if no one was anywhere to sit in it. He figured it probably wouldn't exist at all, but then he wondered what else wouldn't exist if there was no one to do anything with anything. If with no one to sit there would be no chairs, then what would there be with no one to think? No one to say what color anything is, what things sound like, what things feel like, what anything is like. Tim suddenly became viscerally aware of the fact that he was looking out at everything through his eyeballs. He thought that surely without any people, there would still remain objects, organizations of matter and energy floating around. But he considered the possibility that with no one to say what purpose any of it had, no one to say what made any one part of it different from any other, then perhaps none of it would really be anything at all. He wondered in this moment if in fact everything he was looking at was actually nothing, but somehow through him, it became everything. That here in this restaurant, he was creating existence as he lived through it, determining what it all meant. And without him, without anyone, everything might as well be the same as nothing. So, are we ready to order? The waitress suddenly interrupted. Tim quickly realized he had slipped lower in his chair and felt a thin layer of sweat covering his forehead, back, and arms. He wasn't sure how much time had passed, but it looked as if his girlfriend was just looking back up from her menu. He felt like he was on the verge of passing out, struggling to properly catch his breath. He looked fine from the outside, however, appearing no more than slightly distracted or tired. His girlfriend said, jokingly to him, Hey, you there? Tim paused for a short moment, then looked at her and said, Yeah, I'm good, with a small laugh. Then he and his girlfriend ordered, ate, and went home. We've been visited by goblin birds and haunted by the death of Sam Circle already, and that's just the beginning, friends! We have the Chamber of Self-Discovery ahead. Plus, we still have Nana Mucho, Nina Wass, and Carrie. We got an auto right to do, and I might even play you all a little tune on this special occasion. But before I sing, we got someone else to do just that first. St. Joshua, a very powerful vocalist and songwriter from London, just released a really cool performance. This is a live rendition of a track called Mi Amor. Mi Amor. I, I like to roll my tongue. Uh, check it out. Very smooth. Uh. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Mm, I said I won't pay the brain. Only giving much I get you and I. We don't think the same Better think before you step If you don't want to leave Then why give me the cold degrees Colder than the icy freeze Could've done without the days You feel me Butter would melt on a summer's day And it's falling, baby You say you don't play all them silly games But you're silly, baby I'm more, you don't play fair, it's not pretend You feel the same thing, you feel the same thing Oh, me, I'm more, you don't play fair, it's not pretend You feel the same thing, you feel the same thing You got the right idea to get away just won't. I mean, look at what you done done. Nobody cannot fix you. I know karma couldn't get you. Cause you slip away. And I'm pissed off. Cause what I want and what you want. Getting the same thing. And I'm pissed off. Cause what I want and what you want. Getting the same thing. <laughs> Listen. Give as good as you get But that's a rule I tend to forget And then I'm filled with so much regret This bullshit never seems to end Cause it's the same day yeah. huh. But I would melt on a summer's day And it's falling, baby ha, 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 ha. I say I don't play all them silly games I'm just silly, baby huh. Hey, 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 me I'm more you don't pay for It's not pretend you feel the same thing You feel the same thing Oh, me, I'm more You don't play fair It's not pretend You feel the same thing You feel the same thing oh. And the story went
went as you expected Don't worry, I'm just fine Never ever second guess it Your instinct's always right Always, hey, right. always, always, always right. Your instincts always right. Always, always, always right. Let's just agree to disagree. You're nothing at all to me. You're just a disappointment. All you do is disappoint. Good, good, good stuff. Uh, looks like we're having a little frame rate issue here right now. You know, the, the heat is uh, is pretty, pretty intense. Pretty intense. So uh, we're just doing our very, very level best. And uh, hopefully this will start to smooth out in a little bit. But uh, <clears throat> that was a damn fine cut in a very, very sexy track. So big love to St. Joshua and the crew. May we meet again along this very continual stream of realities. But switching gears, we got some news to get to. Hey everyone, this is Nina Watson Carey coming at you with Nada Mucho Newsy News That's New. Nada Mucho is 100% volunteer driven, supporting independent music and entertainment since the late 90s. If you're a solo musician or if you're in a band, we want to know about your project. Connect with us on nadamucho.com and send us your links Bandcamp, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Your website. Let us know how we can connect with you, how we can check out your music, so that you can be featured here on Weird at Night. It's been a hot couple of days, but tonight we have even hotter tracks to share with you. For each of these artists, we're going to be dropping the links in the chat. What we want you to do is click on those links, follow, and support those artists directly. This is Nina Watson Carey, and you are watching Weird at
All right, we're back. And, uh, you know, thankfully so far, we haven't really heard much more from the Goblin Bird. And <laughs> that's a relief because I don't know. Excuse me, I heard my name, Patrick Galactic. God damn it, I found answers. Oh, you did. You found answers. <laughs> what? What the? What? What do you have to say for yourself, huh? Well, let, let's let's you know let's 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 unpack this for a minute, Goblin Bird. Okay. All right. So first things first. Sam's head is somewhere nearby. I'm sure. I'm sure of that. But um, why are you talking about Sam's? I know Sam's fine. Sam sent me an email. Sam's fine. Yeah, Sam. Sam sent me an email from Planet Circle. I guess he's like back home and he's doing great and everything. Oh, so. He, you, you knew Sam was an alien? Of course I did. Have you ever met a human being like Sam Circle? What, what a doof! It, what a doof with a heart of gold! Now, Patrick Galactic, you know I can hear you, and I've got another heat wave to take care of! Let me know when there's a problem I can destroy for you! Goblin Bird out! All right, Goblin Bird. Thank you. Thank you, Goblin Bird. Thank you, Goblin Bird. What the fuck? Uh, okay, well, woo, lots of close calls tonight and last episode on Weirded Night, but hey, wherever you are, you know the Shop of Wand has you covered. That's right, we're in the Shop of Wand, baby! That's right, and we have something really cool and brand new for you tonight. We have a brand new De Queen shirt, the De Queen of Everything t-shirt in our artist studio. Highly encourage you to pick one of those up. If you're the if you're the queen of everything, yeah, you can pretend for a little while, come on. We also have a commemorative mug from tonight's show. Uh, if you're into it, make sure you buy one because uh, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, we have Trash Force t-shirts. We have all kinds of stuff in the Shop of Wand. Uh, the artist studio is really kind of the highlight of the shop. Uh, artists that have been prominently featured on Weird at Night have merch there and if you buy any, the profits go directly to them. We don't hold on to that money. So uh, if you want to support Terry Monstrosity, not for sale. If you want to support Nada Mucho, if you want to support Astro Media Lab, Blaze in Space, Mike Thoreau, all kinds of people, the queen, uh, Dirty Bitch Brass, there's all kinds of people you can support there. So uh, please do, please do. It's, uh, it's really cool and uh, helps a lot. So, now that we've dealt with this goblin bird thing, and I'm probably not going to die, I'm kind of stoked. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to come back over here. So I'm going to come back over here. Don't want you to forget that tomorrow at 4 p.m., uh, I get together with my friend Matt Ashworth, Ash Maddie in this chat, and we host a little thing called Find Your Weird. It's at 4 p.m. Pacific time on the Stereo app. Tune in to Find Your Weird with myself and Mucho editor Matt Ashworth. We talk about the show, but we what we really love is just connecting with you all. Uh, it, whether it's Naomi, Baomi, Faomi, whether it's Dartone, whether it's Nate Lewis, whether it's Alex FMV, Nina Watson, Carrie, we've had a blast with you all over there. Uh, so if you if you just want kind of some drive time, chill time, uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Go download the Stereo app, and uh, we'll let you know. Hey, and don't forget about our post-show Discord voice chat. We hang out for as long as we feel like it, sometimes till the sun comes up, riffing, sharing, connecting. It's amazing. I'll be there, and I'm sure we'll have a rad group there tonight. So don't miss out. Uh, and we're dropping the Discord link in the chat. And like I said earlier, I was told specifically by an early morning haunted firefly that we would hear something from the Chamber of Self-Discovery. I do not do no-shows, people. No shows are no good. That's how you lose an audience. We're making fucking movies, pal. We gotta be where we say we're gonna be. So where is it? Where is it? Where's the chamber of self-discovery? Oh, oh, it's, <laughs> it's right here. You know what? I think I'm actually starting to like this Wannaverse. What a wacky little part of my everything. <laughs> Sounds great, Queen. Sam's punished. Me and Dartone, I think, you know, do you want to get some pizza, Dartone? I think we should just get out of here, get some shitties. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Pizza and beer, I, I got a coupon for shitties. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Mm -hmm. Now, hold on just a second. You two aren't getting off that easy. Blazing, your ass is going back to the chamber of self-discovery. No, 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 no!
Oh, hey, Blazing Space, what's up? It's me, well, you, well, you know, because we're the same. But uh, I'm just so surprised you haven't made it out of the Chamber of Self-Discovery yet. I mean, I know you escaped there for a little bit, but you didn't completely make it out, you know? Like most of you, your compassion itself seems to have still been left in there, and your greedy and your ego-driven side seems to have remained. So, all I've got to say is, good luck. Hope you make it out. This future blazing space is, uh, well, I'm waiting for you. Good luck. Good luck, Mix Space. Oh, child of noble family, listen without distraction. Do not be afraid. Oh, child of noble family, listen without distraction. Oh, child of noble family. Listen without distraction. Everything, 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 everything is, 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 is at the same time. Everything is and isn't at the same time. Everything is and isn't at the same time. Everything is dual. Nothing rests, nothing rests. Everything moves, everything moves. As above, so below. As below, as below so above. So above. The chamber of self-discovery. Welcome to the chamber of self-discovery. Welcome to the chamber of self-discovery. We have chosen the voice of your extraterrestrial companion. But you will never be able to escape yourself. You can solve our dark paradoxes and reveal to yourself the hidden secrets. At least to the extent that a glimpse of the goddess might grace us. At least to the extent that a glimpse of the goddess might grace us. Then you'll be where you want to be. Then you'll be where you want to be. Then you'll be where you want to be. Oh, hey, Blazin. Where are you? You're supposed to be here ten minutes ago. You are shit. You want to know what I want to know, Blazin Space? I want to know why you can't just fucking relax. You know that slight pain in your toe that you've forgotten to think about? Well, it actually is something serious. So let me get this straight. The universe isn't real, but it also is real. You're nuts. Money, money, more money, then more money, and then more money, more, more money, and more money, and more, and more, and more, and more money, and money, and more money. Do not yearn for the world of fiction. Do not be distracted. Recognize these lights as the radiance of your own mind. The phenomena of life. The unknowable and undefinable mind. As a whole in its units, it has existence. The vibration of the all is at such an infinite rate of intensity and rapidity that it is practically at rest. As above, so below. As below, so above. Wherever you go, there you are. Wherever you go, there you are. Wherever you go, there you are. It's time. 
It's time. Hey, and thank you all for your support. Thank you for uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for the love for the music. Uh, I'm starting to miss it more and more all the time. Um, but being here with you all is kind of better than playing for anyone else. So uh, take that in, okay? All right. So we're gonna do an auto right now. And what's an auto right? Well, an auto right is where I count down from ten, and as I do, you just try to clear your mind. I'm just gonna clear my mind. And when I get to zero and say go, you're going to start typing in the chat, just whatever comes into your mind. You're not going to spell correct. You're not going to do any of that stuff, okay? We are just going to write whatever comes out. And then after about 30 seconds, I'll say stop. And then everybody's going to stop and hit return or enter on their keyboard. And all of us are going to put our auto writes into the chat and I'm going to read each one. And then we're going to blast off into the atmosphere. I'm going to be on Discord waiting for you to come talk to me. And I hope you won't leave me lonely, people. You never do. I just hope you won't this time either. Okay, let's do a goddamn auto right. I'm going to count down. Try to clear your mind. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, what? Go. Stop. Okay. Guilty art beat me to the punch. So I'll read hers first. A candlelit patio flickers with the cool summer breeze as the night cools into a starry sky. Relief is soothing. Soothing is relief. Indeed, indeed. Here's mine, go, go gadget hands. I'm not really stoked to have a guitar in my lap trying to type this, but I scheduled it, this all this way, so way to go, show producer. This doesn't feel automatic, hold on. Scissors at Sizzler are not what they seem. They are crabs looking for the right eyes to mine. Don't let the crabs mine your eyes, never! Uh, next one, oh, my chat's behaving strangely, I'm sorry. Okay, next. I had a legit, oh, blazing space. I had a legitimate ants in my pants situation in the last 24 hours, yet there is no show about me called 24. I want Jack Bauer's movie rights. No, really, Kiefer Sutherland, give me your money. Actually, scratch that, I'm taking it. Yes, we broke into your house, and we are taking your car because we need to save the world. You of all people should understand, bleep blurp. That's a great auto right, blazing space. Alex FV, I walked a dog today and he made me carry him home because he decided he was too hot. He didn't care that I too was too hot, but no, no. He made me carry him home and I didn't even get a treat, but he did? Why didn't I get a treat? I'm just saying a zebra cake would have been nice, man. I hate Twinkies. Wow. I'm Fatty Magoo. I can't think of anything, just have Parasites by Ugly Casanova running through my head over and over, eyes bulging, entering my head, and all my thoughts, yeah. They rot. That is an auto right. I'm Fatty Magoo. Thank you for sharing. Ash Maddie, nose hairs for days on that kid. Look at them go. Riding, riding, riding. Oops, ditch. That shit has got to hurt. And when you're wearing a hoodie t sh a hoodie shirt, this kind of stuff just happens to you. Duh. This kind of stuff just happens to you, you dumb fucking shit. Wipe those tears off your face and go listen to some Joy Division like a normal kid. <laughs> Naomi, Naomi, Naomi. It's great that I've learned how to feel grounded as needed, but now I'm learning to get comfortable with the inevitable moments of free fall when they come. Also, I had a molar extracted this week. Free fall, right? I'm so glad you're here, Naomi, Naomi, Naomi. It always makes me so happy when your name pops up. 70, oh, summer's early. Oh, this is Mad the End Times, I'm sorry. 70, oh, summer's early. 80 proof of global warming. 90, I left Texas for this? 100. Perfect score. Time to die. <laughs> That's great. Dark Tone the Third, jumping from table to table, trying to evade the police. The only thing that kept Patrick Galactic going was lyrics from Limp Biscuit. I hate you. I hate you. God damn it, Dark Tone, I hate you. All right. It's been an episode of Weird at Night, and I've had a blast with every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I can't tell you how much it means to share this time with you each and every week on Tuesday and Saturday at 10 p.m. Pacific, but it makes my life a better place. I consider each and every one of you someone I am a friend of, 
and I feel very close to you all. I want to get closer in the fucking Discord. So join us after the show. Have a great time. But until then, the goddess of goodbye is going to sing us out. Naomi, Bami, Fami. You're weird at night. So weird at night. Thanks for being so weird at night. For 100 nights. Weird at night. from the shackles of time and space, we present Wed at 